Okay, so we're in the laundromat. Okay, it's me and my little bro, my little brother. We're all we got. Okay. What are you gonna say to little bro? I mean, you're all he's got. You gotta raise him. You gotta make sure he doesn't make the same mistakes you do. You gotta make sure he does what's right. Why? Why? Because there's evil out there that's gonna get him, that's gonna try to get him to turn every corner towards evil. And so you're the direction he has. And this is Gavi. He's a, he was a brand new pr producer with Reach Records. He joined Reach Records. He's got an amazing sound. Um, amazing. This song is called Fight For Me. And it's about, it's about someone needing you to fight for them. To fight for them when they can't fight for themselves. And, and who are you going to use to fight with you as you fight for them? God. Jesus. You know? That's who we're going to fight with. So we're going to help. We're going to help our baby brother, our baby sister. Our sister, our brother, our mother, our father. You know? When, when they feel alone and they need somebody to fight for them <laughs> when they can't fight for themselves. Listen, man, I know mom and dad's not around. I just want you to focus on the books, all right? So he's, he's directing the youngster's attention to, to what's right. He knows, he knows if, he, if he puts his head in them books, he's not going to be distracted by, by the world. And what it's going to try to do to him, you know, you know, for, for the youngsters out there, you know, schoolwork. Okay. You might think right now, like, man, this ain't going to do nothing for me when I get older. What's some algebra going to do? I'm not going to have no job doing no algebra. Well, you know what? Listening and following direction and doing your homework does for you. It gives you a sense of accomplishment that you finish something and it prepares you to be an adult for when you have to go get a job and they give you something to do. You are already prepared to do it, even if it doesn't relate to algebra or spelling or anything like that. It's just practice. It's practice. It's preparation. So you can be a, a good person, a productive uh, member of society when you get older. Youngsters, you know, so you don't wind up in, in jail or on drugs or robbing and stealing. So, you know, the next time you think about, I'm just going to put my homework off. I don't want to do my homework. You know, think about how you feel after you do your homework, after you pass that test. After you can run home and tell everybody about it. And then after you graduate. And then after you go off to college. And you graduate college. And then after you get your dream job. And you achieve your goals. Your dreams you have right now. Start with you doing the little things like homework. And finishing them. And paying attention in class. You know? And... And, and listening to your teacher and saying, yes, ma'am, and yes, sir, and thank you, and please. Okay, I'm rambling. But youngsters, do your homework. Fight for me, Gavi, featuring Lecrae. I need you to fight for me. Not like this. This. When I don't know what I believe, why does everybody leave? Show me what it's like to dream. Hey, hey, go!
Okay, so he says, I don't know what to believe, but did I really miss my prime? You know, what's my prime? It's, it's, it's the, like the most successful part of my life, you know, did I miss that? Am I getting old? Is my dream expiring? No. Your dream never stops. Until you stop. Until you give up. Your dream's still alive. Forever and ever and ever. Your dream only expires when you give up. Ray comes in, boom, hitting him in the mouth with lyrics. He says, he says, what's he say? He says, say you're going to try right. I think this is what he says. Say, say you're going to try, but you, you lie right. You're procrastinating. You're lying. You know what I mean? You keep telling people, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, but you're really procrastinating. You know, you're not taking no action. You know? And that's me. Biggest procrastinator I know. Just lost him. I just lost the Craig Gavi. Hold on. It's the only Hold game changing on. work that Fight for me. To meet the you too. Pro. I'd expect to pay five hundred dollars or more for any pro work bench. Through this exclusive. Hold on. Let me let me talk to you about what Le, Le, Lecrae just said. Okay. Okay. So Le, Le, Lecrae said, "Been with me." I've been with you. It feels like a lifetime, dude. It feels like a lifetime I've been with you. You know? It, it, it feels that long, man. But but just, you know, there's some people... There's some people in my life that that they've been with me and it feels like a lifetime, too. And... And you might not know those people are even in your life. Like they've been there patiently waiting, supporting you from a distance, loving you from a distance. Because, because as soon as you, it, as soon as you hit bottom <clears throat> and you realize that the only way to go is up and to reach out and accept the help that's there for you, only if you want it though. See, the willingness has to come from within you. 
Nobody can want something for you. Nobody can desire something for you. They can, but they can't make you accept it or take it. You know, that has to come from within. So if you're struggling with something right now in your life, addiction, finances, divorce, grieving, you're mourning a loved one that, that was killed or, or that you lost to illness, you know, pray, ask God for the willingness to get up, even if you need a hand to help you. So the lyric he just said was very powerful. You know, he said, I've been waiting on you seems like a lifetime. And something about a lifeline. You know, if... Don't get it twisted, he was saying. Don't get it confused. If you was on your deathbed, I'm there. But I'm just waiting for you to want it. The help's there if you want it. God's always there. People... People are always watching. All you have to do is express express it and be willing to change. Amen? Back to fight for me, Gavi and Lacrae. I forgot to mention, he said, you sent, you don't send no prayers up, man. Close, close mouth, don't get fed, you know. Ask, seek, knock. Matthew 7, 7. Uh, ask and you shall receive. Knock and door shall be open. Oh, I forgot it. It's been a long time. That's one of, you know, one of the older scriptures that I guess I tried to memorize, but I lost it. But ask, seek, knock, you know. Don't be afraid to ask for help and don't be too proud to ask for help. And, and, and where does the ultimate help come from? Yeah. You down in front of the, from God, our creator, Jesus Christ, who came and died for you. So, you know, just something that just touched me, the word therapy. Gavi says it. He says, I need you to fight for me. He's talking to God. I know you're my therapy. And the reason it touches me is because I've been in that field of work before a little bit, you know, and, and struggling with addiction myself. And, and, you know, although there is some value in going to see a therapist and getting that out of you, okay, they don't have the the power to reach right inside of you and change you like God does. You know, it's, it's, the answer is really simple and easy to find. It's just, you know, it's hard to stay with it and apply it for some. So, you know, that's, that's a really cool lyric because he's saying, God, I, I know you're my therapy. I know you have everything. You know me better than anyone else. You have everything I need to heal me. I just have to make an appointment. Hey, 
When I don't know what I believe, why does everybody leave? Hey! What are